Hello, my name is Nicholas Powers with Aero Electronics, and I've got something fun today. Now, last time we got together with Adafruit for a kit, I got to make a fun little automated greenhouse. Well, now we wanted to go a bit bigger and a bit flashier. And you may not have realized it, but the huge displays in Times Square, well, they're not like our liquid crystal displays. They're actually huge arrays of LEDs, and they're far enough away that it looks like one nice continuous image. This is called an LED matrix display. And one of the most prominent screens to use a similar technology is the screen at AT&T Stadium where the Dallas Cowboys play in Texas. Their screen is 159 feet by 71 feet and features over 10 and a half million LEDs, giving it an effective resolution of 2176 by 4864, and they feed 1080p video into it. Well, now you can play with this technology at home thanks to this kit. So let's open it up and see what we have inside. First, we have a 32 by 32 matrix LED panel. And this is an RGB matrix, so red, green, blue, gives you a lot of colors to play with. Next we have, and I cheat a little bit, I put this together ahead of time. This is the Adafruit RGB matrix hat. This fits onto the Raspberry Pi and it helps you translate the signals from what the Pi outputs to something this matrix can understand. Now, you can see in here, I have some headers attached. There's this header here, this power header here, and then this header here that actually plugs into the Raspberry Pi GPIO. I put all three of these on myself uh, earlier, and now I'm wanting to put it together and show you how this all works. So we've also got a micro SD card. This has noobs on it already, so this is to get you up and running really quickly. A case for Raspberry Pi 3 and some cables to get things hooked up between the hat and the LED matrix, and then a Pi 3 itself. Also included in this kit are some standoffs. These are magnetic, so be a little careful with them around micro SD cards, but they'll help you stick this LED matrix panel to a wall if you want. And then there's a five volt, two amp power supply. Now this has a barrel jack on it instead of the traditional micro USB that you might expect. It's enough I've found to run both the Pi hat, the display and the Pi itself. But if you're gonna do any heavier work on the Pi, I would recommend also having a micro USB power supply that powers it individually. So now let's put this together and see how it works. So, Raspberry Pi recently changed their packaging. It's kind of fun. They used to put their pies inside of a little anti-static bag. Well, now it's in this little bag here. This actually kind of reminds me of the old pie mix bags that you would buy at the grocery store. So, pop it open. Something that we know very well is the Raspberry Pi. And then I've got my power supply here. I'm just gonna plug in. And I have an additional power supply over here plugged in already just to make my life easier. Not gonna bother with the case for this demonstration. Now, one thing I ran into with this kit and one thing that you might run into is that this cable here that powers the LED matrix display, these two little ends here were full loop connectors. So they were closed ring connectors for me. And this is not gonna work with the connectors on the Pi hat. So I just used some uh, wire snips and cut off the corners so that I've got something I can actually stick into this connector here to get power. So now, the Pi hat just fits right on the Pi like this. And then I've already preloaded some code onto this um, micro SD card to speed things up a little bit. But if you want, there are going to be multiple how to's and how to get the code that you want running on the Pi. So now on the Pi hat, you have your power output and it lists it right here. You can see there's a positive and negative side. Traditionally, black is negative, red is positive. So connect them up like that. Okay, then on the back of the matrix display, you can see we have a power connector here, but we actually have two connectors for the data cable. Now, one of them will be labeled output and one will be labeled input. And the, usually the easiest way to look at this is the direction the arrow is going, the direction the data goes. So this would be your input and that would be your output. So connect to this one here.
Okay. And get power connected there. Okay, so there we have it. The display is all connected up. Now, in order to show this off, I needed to get it powered up. So, to get this barrel jack plugged in. And then my micro USB. The micro USB, again, is not absolutely necessary, but I use it just to make sure there's enough power going to everything. You're not at risk of damaging the Pi by using it as well, so I would say go for it. Okay, so now we're booting up. I'm going to connect to the Pi. Over remote desktop, I set this up previously. If I had to do a couple of configuration things to actually make it work the way I wanted it to. But I've got Adafruit's demo software loaded up, so I'm just gonna run the code and we'll see how pretty this display can be. So now I'm just running the demo on the software and you can see that it is absolutely a beautiful display. High clarity, lots of colors, and there's a lot you can do with it. Now, once you get into command line editing with the Raspberry Pi, you can do many different things from playing different GIFs that you like to different running animations, different static displays. And when I showed you earlier that there are actually inputs and outputs on the back of the screen, it allows you to link multiple together. So you could have, say, up to four of these 32 by 32 displays running at one time. Given the more screens you put together and the more LEDs that you're processing, the more weight that is on the Pi for actually getting the images out. I wouldn't recommend going over four displays at one time, but you can experiment with it, see what you can get away with. So there you have it. This is the Times Square Traveler Pack from Adafruit and Arrow, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you.